Welcome back. More and more studies are coming out saying that sex before marriage can actually hurt your relationship. Some researchers are pointing to oxytocin as the super glue that helps us stick together. Counselor Heather Beer with Valley Christian Counseling Center is here to help us sort through this issue. Good morning. Thanks for well, being good here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So let's start me. with the basics. What is yes. exactly oxytocin? Oxytocin is, I believe, God's design for divorce proofing our marriages. And we are kind of hardwired this way, um, and especially I'm speaking of women in this particular instance. Women have more oxytocin than men do, but um, men also have another hormone called vasopressin, which acts very similarly. But what happens is that um, oxytocin is present in the brain during three events of a woman's life. One is labor and delivery, um, and that serves to bond to the baby, you know, of course, um, essential for life. Um, the other is breastfeeding, which also, you know, same thing. Um, and so what happens is um, the oxytocin bathes the brain, and then as she's, you know, holding her baby, she's looking at her baby, and that where she's looking bonds her to her baby. And so because the feelings of love and um, protection and, <clears throat> pardon me, um, and, and like I would lay down in the street for this baby. Yes. Like this is, a, this is like a life-saving hormone that we have in our brains. And it's only been in the last like 14, 15 years that people have really focused on this other part of how um, it bonds us to our husband or wife in intimacy, sexual intimacy. And you might have seen it, um, you can like Google cuddle hormone and things like that. And, and so it's kind of even been marketed as like, here's you know um, this feel good cuddle hormone, um, which is totally a misuse. Yeah. total misuse of it but you know even the harm or the the oxytocin can be stimulated even just from cuddling or kissing or things like that but when the act of intercourse is going on then because two people are looking at each other then it, it, that's the bonding mechanism and then because the oxytocin is once again bathing the woman's brain and then that the, the bonding happens because of she's looking at her husband so this kind of plays out in terms of what premarital sex is doing um, in 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 regards to divorce down the road, long-term um, relationships. Sure, you're saying that yes. all the premarital sex we were giving, where we're using, using up our, our oxy, stickiness. Yes, yes. Every time. Yes. So when we're when we're bonded sex. to another person through that deep intimacy, which our brains think is supposed to happen in marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, our brains don't know that we're not like if we're 17 and we know with our high school sweetheart or whatever. They don't. Our brain doesn't know that we're not with our lifelong partner because that's what it's designed for: is to glue us to our our lifelong husband or wife. And so then the stickiness after you know one, two, three, four, five. You know, they think they say the average is like six partners now across the United States before people get married. Um, you know, it just decreases the bonding ability. By 12th grade, 65% of high school students will have engaged in sexual intercourse, and one in five sexually active teens will have had four or more sexual partners. These numbers continue to rise after high school. Science has shown, you know, this is a study from the Teachman Heritage Study. All the way on the left is what happens when you marry your first sexual partner. The chances of staying married is 87%. As the amount of men you have sex with before you actually get married starts to go up, that chance of the marriage working out consistently goes down. You can see over there towards the bottom, when you start getting into like 16 plus sexual partners, the chances for marriage working out significantly drops. It goes down to 17%. 
So we go from 87% down to 17% by having a whole lot of sex. And it just so happens that the more men a woman has sex with, the lower her ability to pair bond, to really bond with one man.